Hello everybody, hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now in today's video, I'm going to talk about COD. Now as you all know, it's now official, it, 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 it became official a few days ago. Modern Warfare 3 is now a thing. It is going to be the next Call of Duty releasing in November 2023. Now, I got announced yesterday, or when I woke up, should I say, um, there was going to be a beta, but of course, the beta was going to be first on PlayStation, because PlayStation still have marketing rights till 2024. Even if COD does, um, even if COD does buy Activision officially, you know, before the new COD comes out. So, am I excited for Modern Warfare 3? I mean, look. Modern Warfare 2. Like the like the, obviously the people from Infinity War were hyping it up. This is going to be the best thing ever, you know. Get hyped, more content than ever before. It turned out to be the opposite. Like at the start of the game, we didn't get much content until like April. That's when the maps really started to drop. April, um, from November till about February or March, I think we got like one new map, and the rest were just remakes from previous CODs. Obviously, they put shipment in, they put rust, uh, not rust, they put shipment in, they put shootouts in, but they brought out one new map, and that map was absolutely terrible. The map was terrible. Um, now, there was real, before this, before Call of Duty even came out, Modern Warfare 2, rumours start thrown about straight away. Terminals coming back, high rises coming back, all of those maps are coming back. Favela, you know, high rise, none of, none of it happened. None of those maps happened. All we got instead was Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 1 remake maps. And then we got some new maps. And the new maps, let's be honest, they were bad. The new maps were, well, most of them were. There was about maybe two or three that were all right, maybe two. But the rest, let's be honest with you. It, the, the maps this year for COD have been absolutely horrific. However, when you take away the maps... When it comes to weapons, the weapons DLC has been pretty good. We've had loads of weapons. I mean, we've had loads of assault rifles, we've had loads of shotguns, snipers, of course. The weapons have been amazing. It's just those maps, like, you know, the maps haven't been great. Like, it's like Infinity War have lost that, like, you know, that edge of creating good maps. Um, which is quite sad because Infinity War, you know, Modern Warfare 2, the OG, Modern Warfare 2, the OG, Modern Warfare 3. You know what I mean? It's, it's it's sad, it really is. So, Modern Warfare 3. Let's talk about Modern Warfare 3. That's going to be made by Sledgehammer Games. Now, Sledgehammer Games, as you all know, um, did Vanguard. And we all know how Vanguard went. It was a disaster. Let's be honest, it was. Vanguard was a disaster. Um, the game wasn't horrific. The only problem was, it was World War 2. I don't think people wanted that. People didn't want a World War 2 game. They just didn't, you know. So, obviously, the game flopped, basically. Now, Modern Warfare 3, originally, this has got reported by Jason Schreier from Bloomberg. This is obviously the same time Modern Warfare 2 came out. It was reported that there wasn't going to be new Call of Duty this year. So, this was in about December 2022, January 2023. It was reported that there wasn't, there wasn't going to be new Call of Duty. There was going to be a DLC. Like an expansion pack um, to Modern Warfare 2. Now, but Call of Duty kept on saying a new premium game was coming out this year. Which is a brand new game. Brand new game. Brand new Call of Duty. And it turns out that, yeah, it's going to be brand new Call of Duty. But, it makes you wonder, was it originally a DLC? And then they turned it to a full game? And put the campaign to the full game. And uh, but, right, this is what this is right. If it's a full game, this is what I expect from a full game, full blown game, a new campaign, brand new campaign, from obviously a sequel from Modern Warfare Two, um, brand new, brand new uh, game engine looks completely different from Modern Warfare Two. Plays different, different gameplay mechanics, and zombies. If they had a full on zombies mode. Like, with plenty of content. Yeah, I would class that as a new game. And, with multiplayer to launch with plenty of more, we more weapons. And, obviously, new maps. That would be a full game. In my opinion, that would be a full game. However, if it's not a full game, 
It's the same engine. Only about three or four extra maps. That's not a full game. That's a DLC. You know what I mean? That's a full DLC. Um, so we'll see. Like I said, if it's a full campaign, if if there's loads of maps, when I say loads, I mean like start with 10 new maps, basically. Brand new weapons, a new Zombies Outbreak mode. Yeah, that's a full game. But if it's only just a campaign, a few extra weapons and a few extra maps, that's a DLC. It's as simple as that. It's a DLC. So we'll soon see what happens, of course, um, as time goes on. Now, now what's reported by Charlie Intel, that your weapons on Modern Warfare 2 are going to carry over to Modern Warfare 3. That's also another hint that it would have been a DLC. So, I mean, we'll soon see what happens. Um, Modern Warfare 3, this is what I want from Modern Warfare 3. Better maps. The maps need to be better. I'm sorry, but they do. You can't just rely on shipping 24-7 and these maps from years and years and years ago to make the game good. Make good maps. Make good maps that people will play constantly and constantly want. Make small maps. Small maps. Small to medium-sized maps. These large maps where you run around for 10 or 20 minutes trying to find somebody. That's why people have gone off it straight away. There's too many large maps. They need to focus on small to medium maps. That should be the focus now. And obviously I have the clear, yeah, I have large maps, but I don't have too many of them. It seems to be it seems to be too many large maps. Um so make better maps. Um see some weapons, bring the ACR back. Need to bring that ACR back. ACR. Bring the UMP back. You know, bring the OG UMP and ACR back. ACR back, should I say. I love those guns, by the way. Um The Outbreak Zombies mode. If there is a zombies mode, please make it good. And don't make it like vanguards, otherwise it'll be a disaster. And have a good campaign. If that's if that is um if that comes true what I've just said, this Call of Duty will be amazing. Now this is Sedge Army Games, don't forget guys. This is a totally different developer to Infinity Ward. So let's give them a chance. Um This has a potential to become one of the best Call of Duties ever. So I just hope Sedge Army Games do not blow it. Um now, when I was talking at the start of the video, when I was talking about Terminal, High Rise, Favela, there was rumours going about that those maps are going to be in Modern Warfare 3. Um, so, from what I can understand, Modern Warfare 2 had COD 4 maps. And this one's going to have Modern Warfare 2 maps. But soon as I I don't know. I mean, that's, that's the rumours going about at the moment. So, am I excited for Modern Warfare 3? Yes, I am. Same as every Call of Duty. I love Call of Duty. I'll continue to buy Call of Duty. I'll continue to support Call of Duty. However, one thing I will not support is this Black Cell Battle Pass thing. No chance. I will never support that. You shouldn't have to pay £25 every two or three months just to buy just for a few extra skins and to your battle, to your battle skips. No chance. I will never do that. Um, but I think I said it's a personal choice. That's just me. Obviously, some people, some people won't. That's the way it works, of course. So, am I excited for Modern Warfare 3? Yes, I am. Will I buy Modern Warfare 3? Too right to will, because I love Call of Duty. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments, guys. Are you excited for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3? Let me know in the comments. Now, before I end the video, a huge shout out to Smarties, Future Line, and Just Flash Dreams, our YouTube members. Don't forget, if you can reach your member, you'll get a shout out at the end of every single video, just like this. So thank you for watching, guys. If you like the video, give the video a like. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you all so, so much. Thank you so much for your support. You're all amazing. And I'll see you all on my next video. Take care. Have a fantastic day or night. Have a good day.